Hi guys, welcome back to 13 Sentinels. Another episode down and another episode to go today. Woo <laughs> oh. Not really sure why I'm in such a good mood right now. Maybe because I'm about to go live on my stream and play more of this game. <laughs> anyway, so I am pretty certain that the Iori um, that we know is actually Chihiro Morimura. And, and I guess this Ida guy is Shu Amiguchi, but it's kind of weird because he doesn't look or act or sound anything like Shu Amiguchi, but that's what they called him, so I'm, I don't know. And then Megumi, she's out of control, guys. She is absolutely out of control. She's shooting everybody. She's shooting Miura, she's shooting Amiguchi, and I'm sure she's going to shoot more people to come. So I don't really know if this fluffy guy is somebody that we can trust. Like maybe he, there's a good reason for what he's asking her to do, or maybe he's just a villain. I'm not sure, but right now I don't think I really like him that much because he's shooting all the people that I think are cool. So apparently like we're going after people that are witches and I'm not really sure what that means. Is it just people that can pilot sentinels? I mean, Megumi can also pilot sentinels. So is she a witch? Is a witch something completely different from that? And then Mira's a witch, but he had like the surgery, which makes him immune to like this curse or something. So I have no idea what that means, but there's that. Okay, I need more. I need more information to understand what the hell's going on. So let's just get on to it, guys. Let's go back to Mira. May 1985. Clear skies. Monitoring the Sentinel from Kaede River. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. This place isn't too crowded. Gives me room to hang around and think for a bit. Better take advantage of that. Nothing's changed today either. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there, hiding behind all those elaborate curtains. That's Sentinel. It's what brought me here. Why were just the Sentinel and I brought here? That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert, but I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. Time travel, though. Could the Sentinel possess an ability like that? Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. But on that day, at that moment, that fantasy became a reality. Let's remember that day. Nineteen forty five. Burning city grounds. All out of flying bombs. Electromagnetic rounds are offline. Outputs drop by fifty percent in both electromagnetic battering rams. This is after his surgery. He has the scar. Right? Or did... There are just... Too many of them. But I'm not about to just sit here and die. I still have two minutes before I hit my operating limit. Might as well give it everything I got. And that's when they traveled. Where's the enemy? Did I lose? It 
have reached its operating limit. Um... I'm not sure if his portrait was supposed to have the scar or not. Because, like... I'm confused. Where am I? If it did. The air raid. Everything was just on fire. All these giant towers with glass windows? What the hell's going on? Yeah, this is right after the air raid, so he shouldn't have his thing I remember car, right? Is being surrounded by those new American weapons and... No. It can't be. I've heard about major U.S. cities. These high-rise buildings are common. Was I captured? And they got my sentinel too? They must have done it when I lost consciousness. Mm. Brought me to the mainland as their... No, wait. If the sentinel just reached its operating limit, then not very much time could have passed. I think you're still in Japan there, buddy. But this view says otherwise. It's not my homeland. Somehow, I ended up on U.S. soil. Right? If that's the case, fine. I guess this is where I'll die. But I'm not going down without a fight. I'll face the enemy, even without my sentinel. I don't know if that's such a good not idea. The sentinel. This is bad. The sentinels are top secret. It can't fall into enemy hands. Our mother's terrible at sewing, but oh, she I made this. American weapons. I don't think there's anything new there. The enemy cannot get their hands on the Sentinel. That's the kind of issue that becomes a national crisis. But what can I do? I can't activate now, let alone initiate self-destruct. I need to slow down and think things over. I should probably go lie low until the Sentinel recovers. But not because I'm afraid. My country. My little sister. I'd give my life for them at the drop of a hat. But I have to be smart right now. And that means waiting for the Sentinel to be up and running. Um... Now that I have a plan... I'd better move fast. I should get out of here before American soldiers show up. I'll stay out of sight until it's the right time to move. Okay. Everyone here appears to be Japanese. Mm-hmm. But something's off. These signs show both kanji and the English alphabet. Ashitaba Printing, Ashitaba Bank. Why are they named after my hometown? Well... <laughs> oh, damn. Look at all these. Flashback, battle in 1945. 1985, 45, Natsuno Minami. Goto Chihiro and Minami. Oh, shit. What the hell? You want to stop by the arcade? Sure. The one at Sun Mall? Nah, the one at Joyland. Let's go try out those big new Sega machines that came in. Sega! I have no idea what they're talking about. But their language doesn't sound foreign to me. Did you see him in last night's episode? Yeah. Oh, he's so amazing. Right? I watch everything he's in. Female students. Though that's quite a bit of exposed leg. It Remind you of seems someone? Like a different dialect, but it's definitely Japanese. Oh my god! Can you walk a little bit faster? So many cars. Where in the world am I? You mean when in the this world are you? America. It looks like Japan, but everything seems off. 
Ask this somebody what gear trail. it is. Right. Right. It's nothing to worry about. Just my brain acting up. That's why my surroundings appear to be different. We knew what the risks were going in as Sentinel pilots. Professor Doji made it all very clear to us. That's right. This has happened before. I experienced a similar illusion during the Sentinel <clears throat> sync test. I know them. He's wearing a boy's school uniform, but appears to have a girl's haircut. <laughs> <laughs> the hell you looking at? This one has a particularly strange hairstyle. Hey, you trying to get your ass kicked? It looks like I've finally gone crazy. Do you want to see crazy? Oh, got hey, calm stop. down. Oh. And that is how he got his forehead scar. <laughs> Where am I? What is this room? Oh, hold on. I think I remember. Some guy with weird hair hit me with his bag. <laughs> this doesn't look like a detention facility. Either I'm still seeing things, or someone removed me from the Sentinel. Whoever it was brought me to some kind of lab. No, it's just Shu's house. You wanna watch some TV? A box-shaped Technicolor projection device. The Sentinel has its own spatial projector as well. But that's highly confidential military technology. Uh, it's about baseball. I'm not in a military base, am I? No. It's a calendar. Ah, here we go. 1985? Mm-hmm. There it's it is. My head. It's just an illusion. Foreign phonograph records. Takatoshi-san used to let me listen to his. Why are there so many records here? There are way more than I saw at the Hijiyamas. Why not? Math, modern Japanese, lots of textbooks lined up here. Japanese history. So I really am still in Japan then. It's kind of a weird, I just noticed like the weird bed with the desk underneath. How am I just now noticing that? History book. This can't be right. 1945, the year of Japan's unconditional surrender. Surrender? We lost the war? Oh, 1945. Ouch. That's this year. August 6th, atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. 140,000 killed. Three days later, second bomb dropped on Nagasaki. 70,000 killed. All from just two new American bombs? What is this book? 1951, U.S.-Japan Security Treaty signed. 1964, Tokyo Olympics? How far does this go? Wait, what did that calendar say? 1985! Keep up! 1985. It has to be fake. When was this printed? It says here... 1985. <laughs> Could it really be? He's freaking out. You okay? Here. It's so cold. That's all that was in the fridge. <sighs> <coughs> Not a big fan of soda, I take it? That is a carbonated kind of beverage. Carbonated <laughs> beverage? I had ramen once at a festival in Tsutsuji, but I was just mm, a kid. I love that stuff. Who are you? I'm Shu Amiguchi. 
and we're at my apartment in Kamazumi. Keitaro Miura. So, how did I get here? I called a taxi and brought you over after you got knocked out. Damn. Got fucked up. So you helped me. Guilty. You know, you really pushed Ogata over the edge. He was already pissed from being chewed out. If he gets in trouble one more time, he's getting suspended. Be real nice if you two could work things out peacefully. I need to know one thing. What, what year is it? <laughs> year is it? Uh, what? Afraid you got knocked into a coma for the last few years? Relax, you didn't get hit that hard. It's still 1985, all right? You haven't missed a day. <laughs> He's just like, what the fuck? Okay. Mystery files. 1940s. The 1940s is a turbulent era of World War II, a major war which involved numerous powerful nations and marked a turning point for technology and ideology. It was also a period when Japan transitioned from militarism to pacifism. Uh, Kaede's, Kaede River's riverbed, where you can get a good view of Kasumicho. Not many people come here because of the substantial elevation difference from the metropolitan era. Area. Okay. Keep going. Okay, as Keitaro Mira faced off against the American weapons, he and his sentinel were engulfed by a bright light. He awoke him to find himself in 1985 Japan. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. Okay. I don't care that we lost. I'm proud my country could rebuild after what happened. But I won't accept this future. Now that I know we lose the war, that's all the more reason to go back. I'll bring the Sentinel with me. And I'll change history. It's my duty to fight and protect the people. I have to save as many of them as I can. <sighs> but what if it's impossible for me to go back? What if I'm trapped here? Shihiro. All right, that's enough. Get it together. Don't get discouraged. You will make it back. No matter what it takes. Hmm. I wonder, what if I never actually traveled through time? It's possible that space-time here is warped somehow, but it could just be a local effect. What are you talk what talking about? I should try heading towards the school. Maybe time is flowing normally over there. Um, okay. Okay, let's go to Sakura High School. He'll see the old school building is still there. Ah! Hurry up, Miwa chan! Slow down, Yuri chan! Female students. Looks like the school's still here. I think that's your sister. I'm not sure. Isn't that... What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Miyorakun? Thank goodness. Wait. What? She got back? You're Natsuno Minami, right? The one I met at the shrine. What are you doing here? I've got to say, you had me pretty worried. I had no idea where you went. I just... I can't believe you're here I too. I think this is... I couldn't find you anywhere. 
I thought you got snatched up and hauled off to Area 51. But anyway, what have you been up to? Wait, first... Where have you been? <sighs> A kind student's been letting me stay at his place. Aside from that, I've been sleeping outdoors. Outdoors? And this is where, when she gets... She takes him to... Um... Juro's house. Natsuno san. I think. Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite. Yes. I admit she's bright, cheerful, attractive. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Before the war. My uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about tra it only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. To think it ever become a reality. Despite a catastrophic loss, Japan recovered quite well. It seems to have entered a prosperous new era. Almost too prosperous. Why were just the Sentinel and I that we've listened to? I checked the library for any records of such a weapon, but in all of history, nothing like it has ever existed. Not in the U.S., not anywhere. What was that thing? Aliens! Aliens! Hang on. This is my mess, so I have to figure out how to clean it up. But then again, hmm. I can't really bring a boy into the house. Oh, yeah. Granny Tamal went on a trip. So Juro-kun should be the only one home. That house does have a lot of rooms. Granny Tamal? Uh, sorry. Let me go grab my stuff really quick. <sighs> I'll be right back. So, so confused. Then we'll head over to the Karabe's house. Karabe? Flashback. 1945 Karabe house. Oh, look at... Look at... Wait, but it burned down. See that? that? This is a different timeline. It has to be... It's the same house, but it burned down where he's from. Oh, man. Uh, I just don't... I don't know if... Not Chan, not to know. Is like the same Natsuno that we just met in 1945, you know? You know what I mean? Like... I don't know. There's a radio here instead of a TV. Managed to leave quite the dent. Chihiro? <laughs> you don't have to cry. It's not like you did this on purpose. How did she manage I'm sure that? Uncle isn't mad about it anymore. What about you? Are you mad? Who's uncle? Of course not. I'm your big brother. I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. Now, come on out. So, how do you hit the pillar with the laundry bucket? You must have been playing pretty rough. The bunny was biting. And it beat up giant ghosts. Because the ghosts smash all the houses. And more of them keep coming. Such strange ghosts. Did you come up with them yourself? No, Tamao told me about them. I'm sorry, Chihiro-chan. My father has quite a short temper. I'm sorry. This was all my fault. Tamao-san? It only happened because I told Chihiro-chan about my dreams. Is it okay for you to be awake right now? Mm-hmm. 
I've been feeling much better lately. And I have Goto-san from Tokyo to thank for that. He's been sharing some foreign medicine with me. It's just that... Ever since I started taking it, I keep having strange dreams. But they feel like more than just dreams. They're like memories that I just suddenly remember. <laughs> the sirens. Man. This is bad. Oh, this is all getting just too complex for me. Oh god. God. That Can you imagine? That would be so scary. Like what unless you have like an underground shelter to hide in or like some kind of bunker, like what do you what do you do? You know? It's a massive enemy raid. We have to hurry to a bomb-proof shelter. Come on, Chihiro-chan. We have to go. Jiro-kun! Are you home? Minami-san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yakushiji-san, our classmate? Wait, no way. Are you two... Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just, you know, Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in. Pardon my interruption. <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kind of complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. <laughs> That's not- The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? So, oh, I'm so confused. Things aren't lining up to me. Like, things are not lining up. So he does have the scar. He, got, he said he got the scar from his surgery. Unless he was lying about that. Or somebody said he got his scar from his surgery. When did he get the scar and when did he have the surgery? Unless there's some things that, like some time that, and events that happened in between when he was still in 1945 to now. I don't know. Hi. You guys are confused. I'm confused. We're all confused. Just let me stay here, okay? Natsuno san, is this. It's fine. It's fine. I live super close by. So if you need anything, just let me know. There she goes. Well, this is awkward. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... I really don't want to be an inconvenience. Are you hungry? 
Why don't you join us for dinner? No, I shouldn't. Your stomach thinks you should. No, that was, uh... I'll go fix you a plate. <laughs> Poor Juro. <laughs> He's just like, what is my life right now? So, tamao san is your grandmother? Is she in good health? Grandma? She's fit as a fiddle. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That's why she isn't here. Shimane? She must be with her mother's side of the family in Iwami. Do you know my grandma? Yes. You do, huh? So then? How long do you need a place to stay? Not long. Just until I can make my way back home. Well, all right. If that's the case, it shouldn't be a problem. Just try not to cause any trouble. Feel free to use the guest room on the first floor. Thank you. Are there two... F is this is a two-story place? I want to go upstairs. There's a projection device where the radio used to be. It's been lightly remodeled, but it's the same house. Sure is. I could have sworn it burned to the ground. We did see it burn to the ground. It's very strange. The dent has been rep uh, repaired. Or it was never there to begin with. I don't know. The damage on this pillar is missing. And it wasn't changed when they remodeled. If this really is the Karabe's house, then it should be right here. Chihiro left a dent in this pillar. Oh. Back on my parents' property, there was a wooden single-story house. It was built in the middle of the 20th century. That humble little place stood for about a hundred years. My grandfather often told me stories about it. Some of his fondest childhood memories were at that house. That sounds lovely. I'll have it produced for you. You will? But all I have left are old photographs. That's fine. I can restore them for you. Thank you, Mira-san. I'm looking forward to it. Restore? Restore? Were you just on a call with someone else? With Professor Karabe, yes. We were discussing the layout of the residential zone. Oh, that's right. Professor Karabe was born in the 21st century. She's 120 years old, right? I know that she's receiving nanomachine treatment, but she still looks so young. She's Professor Morimura's mentor right here. Quite an intelligent individual. Well, yeah. She is the foremost expert on AI, after all. Right. Anyway, is something wrong? Why does something have to be wrong for me to call? Well, I just so happen to have a really urgent problem. I need emotional support stat. And I need it from you. Oh. Oh, that does sound urgent. Okay. Then I'll be waiting. Okay, well, that just leaves me with a lot of questions, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, I'm starting to lose my grip on everything I feel like. <laughs> I'm starting to lose my grip. So if, if, if Iori is Morimura, and Morimura is Iori's teacher, then are there like two of them at the same time, in the same place, in the same dimension? Isn't that bad? Oh, we need to unlock stuff.
No! It's locked! We need to clear wave five. And we cleared wave five. Wait, Ashitaba City. First area, Ashitaba City wave five cleared. Currently cleared up to the first area. Oh, unlock. Yes. Sorry. Duh. Okay, now we can resume his story. Let's check out his chart. Yeah, I think we should keep going with this. Let's do um, some more as much as we can do. Okay. May 1985. Clear skies. No matter where I am. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we know. I met Natsuna-san over at the shrine. She ended up dodging my question. What was she doing there? She attends the same school as Jurokun. At least that's what he told me. Before the war, my uncle gave... That's not new. Why were... I don't think any of this stuff is new. Okay. <sighs> Nothing's changed today either. Alright, where do we, where do you want me to go? I need to figure out how to take back the Sentinel. Then I can find a way to return to 1945. Though, I can't seem to reactivate it. I've tried countless times, too. I hope I didn't break it. If there's a mechanical issue, I'd love to take a look at it. But security around the building's been tight lately. Now I can't get too close. Well, sounds like you're in a pickle. I can't just sit here. Actually, that factory at the mountain pass may have survived the air raid. It might still be standing in this era. Oh, let's go to the side of the factory. The former factory site. It's a playground? Ayame Park. This is where the factory used to be. Well, oh, I don't see a factory now. Hey, what are you doing here? Chihiro? Is that you? Chihiro? Is it really you? Uh oh. What business do you have with my little sister? Your little sister? Who are you? I'm that child's older brother. Is there something you need from her? No. She just looks like a relative of mine. Uh. Let's get going. Hmm. Okay, so Iori in this wait. So there's a Chihiro. It's Goto's claims is his little sister <laughs> um <sighs> so it's it's got to be a different there's like multiple iterations of this person Chihiro Morimura, Yori, like they're from, they're from they gotta be from like different dimensions. Goto, wonder if he like I don't know, I don't think she's I don't think that any of the Chihiros are actually related to Goto. I think he he probably went snatched him up or something. 
Because he needed her for something. I don't know. Shihiro. If she's still alive, she'd be over 40 by now. Morimura. If she's... We don't have a family burial plot where I'd find her. I have no idea what's happened to her. She's either alive somewhere in this world, or... <sighs> Shihiro. I'm going to find my way back to you. Mm -hmm. I saw when the war supposedly ends in that history book. August of 1945. If that's true, then Japan loses the war in just three months. In any case, I should go talk to Natsuno-san. She must know something. Okay, let's look for Natsuno. Sunset, visiting my alma mater. Sakura High School. It looks nothing like the school I attended. Enter... wait. What's new here? Natsuno-san. No? Despite it... I saw when the war sub... Hmm. If she... Our mother... I don't know. Enter the grounds. Still here. It's been renovated, but I do recognize this building. If this is the school building, then over there's where the potato field used to be. Potatoes. Looks like that plot of land got bigger. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way in. Should we Yep, let's go. Enter the old school building. There's no one here. Do they not use this building? Nope. This building was brand new. Now the floorboards creak. The pillars are all scratched up. And really has been 40 years. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that was freaky, though. Reminisce. This is where I waited for Takatoshi-san. And more Tamao-san came to see me off. How strange. It almost feels like it was all just a distant dream. All right, enough. This isn't the time to be getting sentimental. Yep, okay. Over the front gate, I guess. Oh, Miracon. Um, too close. Megumi-san, thank you again for the bento you gave me. I found a nice spot to eat it by the Kaide River. A bento with meatballs. Quite luxurious. Mm. I was very impressed. That sounds so good. They're just regular old meatballs. But meatballs are meatballs. Special, but I'm glad you like. They don't have to be special. They're delicious. What are you doing out here? Are you looking for someone? Natsuno-san. Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite... Yes. 
I admit, she's bright, cheerful, attractive. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Jeez, calm down, buddy. I'm trying to find Natsuno-san. Would you happen to know where she is? Minami-san? She should be in the track room. The athletic building's over that way. Want me to go check? No, that's okay. Oh, yeah. So for dinner tonight, I think I'll make Hamburg steak. You seem to really like it. You mean that giant ball of meat? <laughs> Hamburger meat, yeah. It's Jiro's favorite. So try not to come home too late. Okay. Hamburger. Hem what? Hamburger. 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 Those meatballs they call hamburger. I've never had anything so delicious. <laughs> hamburger. This is no time to be distracted by food. Go to the athletics building. Natsuno-san's over there. Everyone's staring at me. I'm glad I found Natsuno-san. But I don't like all this attention. Hey, you! But me? You've been standing there an awfully long time. What are you doing? I'm waiting for Natsuno Minami. Minami? How do you know her? And how old are you? Looks like a middle school uniform to me. No, uh, I'm, uh... Seriously? You guys have to be so nosy. Natsuno-san. Come on, let's go. Phew! Thanks for getting me out of that awkward ass situation. Sorry I took a while getting changed. It's fine. I said I'd wait. So, whenever you exercise, you all change into outfits that show your legs? That's fascinating. Fascinating, yes. That's the first <laughs> anyway, word that came to his mind, I'm sure. At school out of nowhere. Everything okay? Natsuno-san, I met you before, back in 1945, and now here you are. Huh? You must know something about all this, about how I ended up in this era. Please, tell me what you know. That's, uh, jeez, how do I put this? I had to consult my Look, bag really alien. About it here. There's got to be a good place. Somewhere with no one around. We could go to the building I used back in my time. It seemed to be empty. The old school building? We can go in there? Yes. It was open. All right. Then we'll talk about it there. Let's go. I always thought this place would be locked up. Miyura-kun, can you keep a secret? Uh, of course. Okay. <laughs> then I'll tell you. Don't freak out, okay? This is BJ. He's an alien from the future. <sighs> BJ. Oh, I can't think about him yet. BJ's looking for the robot he used to get here. And I'm helping him find it. A robot? Does the word sentinel ring a bell? <laughs> 
That sentinel from back in 1945 belongs to BJ's alien friend. There are a few of them, too. How does she know about the sentinel? And did she say it was made by aliens? It's a top secret military weapon created by Japan. I don't need to tell you this, but those babies are capable of time travel. <sighs> Yep. <laughs> this... BJ. I have some questions about it. I've heard Shikishima engineers talk about something like this. Isn't this actually a type of scout unit? Shikishima? They don't dabble in alien technology. All they do is make weapons, and BJ is no weapon. But... Keitaro. Ryura. If he's just a scout unit, explain how he can talk. Don't be a jerk, Mirakun. BJ isn't some kind of robot. This is just a spacesuit. Aliens come in all shapes and sizes. My guess is the only thing inside that suit is BJ's brain. <clears throat> oh. I mean, it could be. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I feel like he's a robot, but she might be onto something there. An alien robot. Why are you searching for the Sentinel? What's your objective? To uncover the truth. The truth? You wish to know where you came from. Do you not? What are you talking about? I came from 1945. Did you? Incorrect. Incorrect. Your log proves otherwise. My log? 2187. Yeah, oh god. This log. If you really have it, I'd like to see it. Professor. I've switched over to a private channel. Professor Takamiya. Can you hear me? Is that... miura -kun? Professor Takamiya. I'm connected now. Thanks, miura -kun. Is that Yu Yuki? What the heck? Is she Takamiya? Yuki-chan? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yuki. Damn, she got boobies. Boobas. I was able to secure a seat, thanks to you. It'll probably be the last shuttle. This place will be lost by tomorrow, too. Has the front line advanced that much already? Afraid so. If anything, they're picking up speed. Did Natsuno get out safely? She arrived in Sector 4 about five hours ago. Ah, so she's there with you. You know, you two. Mm -hmm. I never approved of your relationship. Oh. <laughs> Mom! Mom? There's my girl. <laughs> you know I'm only kidding. I didn't think you wanted to talk to me anymore. Of course I do. I'm sorry about all the trouble with your father. He and I haven't been on good terms since we split up. It's okay, Mom. I want to be with you. I know. Me too, Nanchan. Yuki-chan's my mom? <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor Takamiya. The shuttle's about to take off. All right. I'll see you at Sector 3 in 14 hours. We'll be waiting for you at landing zone 10. Looking forward to it. The destruction is spreading. It's only a matter of time until the surface is lost. What the heck was all that? I don't know. <sighs> How is like... Because, like, I understand, like, these two coming back to this era because, like, I don't know, like, I thought Mira looked a little bit older in that portrait, but I didn't, I didn't think that, like, he was older and then he came back in time, like, why would he be younger? But then Yuki from the future, 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 future is definitely... Like, an adult. 
But then in this time, she's a teenager. So, like, I don't know how that works. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, was she here before she grew up? And then, like, she traveled to the future and, like, had a baby. And then the baby, which is not snow, like, came back to this time. And is the same age as her back then now. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna try to understand because... Okay. Let's just keep going because clearly the story has gone beyond my comprehension. That was just a segment of the log I've retained. I have to know. When was that log recorded? In the year 2188. That doesn't make sense. No. How is this even possible? I don't know. Yuki-chan's my mom in the future? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Mirror story 50% cleared. Oh god. I don't want it to end. Okay, look at all these updates here. The 2188 Natsuno Minami is Professor Yuki Takamiya's daughter as well as Keitaro Miura's girlfriend. After shifting to 1985, Miura ends up staying at the Karabu residence thanks to Natsuno Minami's referral. That same day, Megumi Yakushiji, who happens to be staying there, cooks up some meat he knows only as ham Hamburger, which had him in awe from his first delicious bite. Professor Yuki Takamiya in the 2188 world is Natsuno Minami's mother. She uses her maiden name, Takamiya, as she's already divorced her husband. She feels bad that her daughter, Minami, had to go through the divorce. Uh, okay. So that's why they have different names. Last names. I guess. It was originally two stories, but they added a west building in 1985 that's three stories high. The, uh, the old building. Okay. Ayami Park is located at the top of a small hill. It used to be called Ayami Pass back when the munitions factory was still there. All right. Well, should we get straight into some remembrance or do we want to do some battle? Because I think I wanted to do some battle at the end of last stream. Hmm. Kind of afraid that I forgot how to do all this, though. Let's see. Second... Oh, right, right, right. We were trying to get our second and third generations available for the strike team. And it looks like they are available. So we would be using all these people for a strike force of six. I think that seems all right. All right. I forgot how to do this. Let's just do it. Let's just do it! Everyone here? Is it just me, or is my robot a little slower than everyone else's? The second generation Sentinels are more heavily armed than other models, but also more heavy in general. But you got They're sentries, well so it's okay. Tons, so careful where you step. Don't want to crash through some underground structure. The fusion reactor on it is pretty heavy. But its energy output is off the charts. Enough that it can power a plasma arc fusion cutter. Once you know how to use that, you'll be slicing up kaiju like a knife through butter. Their original purpose was to break down massive pillars for high-rise buildings. Of course they'd be heavy. But in a close quarters fight, that 1300 ton grip strength will come in handy. Second generation models are linked to a squad of support units, too. They'll respond to distress calls. If you can 
can figure out the best time to use them, you might just turn the tides of battle. Uh, I don't know if I can remember all that. It's okay, neither can I. Neither can I. Alright, battle start. Here they come. I even see what kind of kaiju we're going to be facing against. Alright, let's do something here. We have ground the twin tails. Um, drill flies. Coming in hot. Missiles. So, I think we... Um, an EMP might be good right now. Knock this shit down. Now we want... Ooh, let's start putting some sentry guns. That seems fun. I like that. Another one. Okay. Real gun these things. We also have to win in 60 seconds. So... Let's make sure that we try to be quick about killing the things. Alright, let's just wait. Okay. Stop. Stop. She's the only one who can use anything right now. X is a decoy. Rocket launchers. I think I just want to take out these flying things right now. I won't back down. For the moment. Okay, you. Long range missiles. Back attack. Oh, we got some big boys over here. I see some big boys. We have some armored, um, Dimos, I guess. All right, what can you do? Okay, so I don't have any of my Gen 1s, which would probably be pretty good against these things. Or school. Okay, no, that's. I don't have. She doesn't have anything that can. Um, really does much against armored. But we can still do some damage. Okay. Armor piercing. Ground. Anti ground piercing rocket launchers. Oh, what's going on over here? I'm going to have to get this guy a little bit closer because he's one of the only people that have the, uh... Maybe this will be close enough. Alright, I need to start moving people out a little bit, I think. Okay. Anti-ground piercing. But we can reach. Nice. What to do? Nice! Hi, global citizen! Do I have a leg spike? Um... I don't know. I don't think I do with this... With these, um... I know I have it on my Gen 1s. Oh, gosh. There's a lot happening right now. Let's use the EMP. Lots of things in the sky. We don't like that. We don't like that one bit. We have... 40, 38 seconds left. I have heavy knuckles. Um, It's not necessarily armor piercing, though. So, but it has a pretty high power. Let's just 
take these things out. Get rid of those. I also have my meta skills. Instant cooldown. Nothing really, um... It's all very, um... Defensive. Where are they? Which I don't feel like I need right now. Dang it. Wish I had my Gen 1s! We have rail guns. I mean, that's good, right? Okay, anti-ground, blah blah blah. Okay, those things are almost taken out. Oh, what do we have here? Two more of the same. Shit. Um, well, let's finish taking these guys out if we can. Alright, cool. Let's get some more sentries out, maybe. And I just feel like the, the rail guns are just the way to go here. These guys are a little bit too far apart. I can't hit them both. Let's EMP, because they, they sent out some rockets. Okay, cool. I'll take them down quick. Number 14. Doesn't look like they're dropping anything else. So I think we have 28 seconds to take these things out. I think you're going to have to charge your EP there, Drew. Just railgun them. These guys are not cooperating. Gotta keep it together. Would it be dangerous to move her, like... Here? Would that be risky? What's our plan? So where we can get like a better Remember your training. angle? You know? I don't know. This might be a horrible idea, but we're gonna try it out. Cause I just can't. I need to be quick about taking these things out. I need to be quicker. Ooh! Oh my god, those sentries! Well, now I don't even have- I move for nothing! Look at that! One of them is almost dead, so I guess I don't really need to move... ...move my people. Well, it was a good idea, maybe. If the fight was going to go a little bit longer. Okay, Drew, why the hell are you way out here? Get over here. Over here. Okay, hopefully the city hasn't taken out- taken too much damage. We're just gonna attack them from all sides. And just hope. Oh my god, the armor piercing is so good. It's like, so much better than just the regular stuff against the armored. I mean, I know that's the point, but... Oh, city's at 99%. I feel like we nailed that. Nobody died. Nobody died. Oh, jeez. That's not good. I found Miwa-chan with the drone. You 
found her? Oh, that's a relief. No, listen. Miwa-chan's heading right for the next terminal. What? Miwako, what are you doing? That girl has no sense of direction. <laughs> you can't just leave her. <laughs> I'm gonna go meet up with her. We'll make sure she runs somewhere safer. We're counting on you. Where's Kisaragi? Where did she just run off to? Well, uh, um... Kisaragi, what's your status? Answer me. Kisaragi, the girl is... I know. I'll get back to the battle once Miwa goes safe. Did we do it? Fight is far from over. Mira was MVP? What did he even do? Did he put down a sentinel? I don't remember if he had a sentinel. Or was it not sentinel? Sentry. Sentry. Sentry turret. Okay. He railgunned. Oh yeah, he did railgun stuff. Usually it's the sentries that like get the MVP status when they're out on the map, you know? Rank S. Nice. We got a mystery file, second generation sentinels. Uh, 0.9% city damage. Really good. The city is safe when Bunny is on the case. Mystery file, Miwako Sawatari. Two mystery points. No, we're gonna go do Remembrance. After we look at our mystery points. Yes, my favorite part. Okay, Miwako. She is a good friend of Yori and Tomi Kisaragi. The three of them often snack on something on their way home from school. She's a kind and reserved girl who's self-conscious about her plump figure. Now, don't, you're adorable. Don't have to be self-conscious, okay? Okay, the second generation Sentinels. They have diverse armaments for both close combat and long range attacks. They also have thick armor. They can weigh up to 2,200 tons. The three Sentinels of this generation are number 13, 14, and 15. The pilots for each respective Sentinel during the final battle was Juro Karabe, number 14, or number 13, Ryoko Shinonome, uh, 14 and Yori uh, Fuyasaka 15. All right, we have two points. What do we want to unlock? What are some of our choices? Let's scroll up. Okay, Kiriko Doji. Hmm. Hmm. Kyuta Shiba. He definitely knows more than your average person about what's going on. I remember there was something where he was, it's like he knew about the Sentinels or something, but I don't know, something about this guy weirds me out. Yuta Shiba is Juro Karabi's childhood friend who's also into sci-fi and special effects films. He's the life of the party, easy to get along with, and is always making jokes. He seems to have a mysterious power. Mysterious power? What? Hmm. See, there's something about him. I know, there's something about him. What's Bunkara? Something about that guy. Karabe Residence Layout. Japanese history book. I want to go up here and do Kiriko Doji. That is what I want. Okay, so Kiriko Doji is Professor Doji's daughter. She's visiting the factory on behalf of the professor. She's actually a, it's actually a cover identity is actually okino temporarily presenting as a girl the real kiriko doji is in tokyo okay yeah so there is a real kiriko doji but the one that we met at first was okino but i think the one that we saw that was visiting the factory in like the 40s was the real Kiriko Doji. It's confusing. Okay, Remembrance. 